Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Brandon Parker with his part 2 tutorial in Final Cut Express and Final Cut Pro. Uh, what I was doing last in my first tutorial, I was showing you how to uh, uh, do a little bit of how to get your video started, what you need to get it started, and and stuff like that. And I'm going to now show you, continue how to show you how to do the watermark and show you how how to work in the timeline and stuff like that. So first what I'm going to do is get my clip ready. I'm going to start with uh, this clip. And like I said last time, this is your mark in point and your mark out point wherever you want it. It'll be go however long you want the clip to be. Uh, so what you want to do is, I'm just going to pick a random area in the clip. I'm going to pick this right here and wherever I want it to end, if I want it to end here, then I would just uh, uh, click right in here and have it end there. But I'd rather have it to be like similar, like right in here, right around in there. And that's where it would end, right in this clip where it goes right there. So I'm going to go um, first before I do anything is uh, say that you have audio that you want. I go to file. I'm just going to import any song because you're going to have to do some rendering. And the rendering in and, and Final Cut is different than Sony Vegas. So I'm going to show you that it's different. So I'm going to go to Import, Files if you want to do audio, a song, like if you're doing a fan video or whatever. I'm just going to do this song for now and show you how to do audio as well to get it in here. Up here is where you do your clips, whatever clips you have, and down here is the audio. If you have audio in here and you don't want to mess with it or anything and you want to don't want audio overlapping or anything you just have this and it will won't, won't be able to edit with audio or anything it'll be blocked down it'll be covered up and you won't mess up your audio that you have and have it overlapping or whatever but if you want to edit and change audio and add voiceovers or anything like that or music or whatever I'll show you right now I'm going to drag down my audio first and I would probably put it in like audio number three that's about where I would put my audio because on top of here this is where will be like if I want voiceovers or anything in my fan videos and down here what I'm dragging is the the uh, size bar or whatever the, wherever you're gonna be working at this is like the beginning you can make it even a bit smaller the smaller that you make this the wider it gets and and the closer you're zooming in and, you can also zoom into the size of your clips this way, like, or you no, know, the view and zoom in, and you can make the like the view of this. Watch, I'll drag this down in here. And then first, what I'm going to do is is because I don't want this to be. A, I would block this, and I don't want the audio from the clip. I don't want it in here. So what I do is drag it right here in video one, where it would show uh, audio. And, uh, whatever is in video uh, one will be in uh, audio one and audio two, like, and then whatever is in video two will be in audio three and audio four, stuff like that. And you're gonna have to do rendering because uh, you're gonna have to do rendering for the reason that uh, this is why this is red because it's telling you it wants you to render your video. So what you're gonna do is uh, you either uh, render the video like I'm gonna just sequence I'm gonna go to render all make sure you do both so you can get the audio render because you're you're gonna get this if you don't render it you're gonna get this problem if you don't render it so it's gonna say unrendered and you're gonna think that uh, Final Cut is all messed up and you can't edit or whatever so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to sequence and then I'm gonna render render all and then you go to both so I can get everything. I usually do render all and then both. And I go to, okay, and you're gonna have to uh, name your, you should name your project first. You, sh you should go to file, save as, before you do this. Right now I'm just showing you in the tutorial. <clears throat> and trying to do it uh, in under 10 minutes. And sometimes it could take a while. It depends on how long your clip is. And if you have a, Depends on how fast of memory you have. I got like four gigs of memory, so it goes uh, pretty fast. And also, too, I have a bunch of uh, 
like room on my Mac and then I have an external hard drive with uh, a terabyte of room on there so it goes pretty fast and and what takes the most time is the fact that I have a external hard drive and it's, it's reading a lot of information on that so that's why it takes a lot of time in the rendering and you can do unlimited rendering when you go to RT and it'll have the unlimited rendering but it'll it'll work like like Sony Vegas and you won't be able to view your clips in real time and it'll be laggy so I would suggest that you just uh, render your video clips I suggest you would do that I know it seems like it'll take a lot of work but really I've done it in a few fan videos so far that I've done I've done five fan videos so far in Final Cut and I have seem to have no problem with time in, in here it renders pretty fast and and I'm going to show you why it, it's way better than Sony Vegas though even though that it looks like it's going to be a lot more work it actually isn't it actually is a lot better okay now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you that uh, that now it'll, it'll play because I have rendered the, the video file. You see it comes in pretty good. And it doesn't show that I'm rendered or the audio doesn't beep. The audio will beep if it's not rendered. And you usually, because you don't want to uh, have your audio to get messed up, you lock it so that you won't mess up your audio. Make sure that you do number four as well so that because uh, Three and four go together, one and two go together, and so and that's how that works with the audio. Okay, and what you do here is next. I'm going to show you how to do your watermark or whatever that you created in Photoshop, or you want to manually add it. I'm going to show you the one that I created, and then manually show you how how to do it. So I'm going to drag uh, this right here. Okay, oops. Make sure that I go to edit undo because uh, it has to, the arrow has to be pointing down in order to fit it on here okay or else it'll be uh, on top and you can uh, edit the duration but the max duration you can have it is you is uh, a minute and 10 seconds for the max duration you're gonna have to copy this every time if you want it to have be on the whole video you're gonna have to like copy it until all the way to the end of of uh, whatever you're editing editing you're gonna have to add it again each time because uh, it won't it's not like you can't do it like drag it all the way to the end of of like the song if you're doing the whole song like you can in Sony Vegas you're gonna have to uh, manually add it again each time until you have it to where you want it to be as long as you want it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go to double click this so that it'll be in here and then I go to motion so that I can put it to where I want to I'm gonna right in here this is where you would uh, bring it down well first the scale you're gonna have to scale it down a little bit I scale it usually to like about 70 right in there probably yeah to right there and I go to right here leave the center at zero just leave it there and I go to like something like this something like that and then I bring it down to like 200, I think. I'm going to have to make that a bit larger to 60. Okay, and I'm going to have to move this over a little bit. And negative will move it to the to the left. If you put negative, it'll move it to the left. If you want it to the left here, like I'll show you that. Negative 400. So it'll move it to the left. And if you want it to be uh, like on top, you here you go to negative 260 and it'll be on top right there and I want 260 because that's about where I would want it you just play around with it the numbers usually go probably about 400 and 200 and scale would probably like 70 somewhere around there if you want it a bit bigger you just play around with the scale and the archer point to get it how you want it I'm gonna move this over like I say 420 maybe I'll make it a 4 4 right around there and 270 you just play around with it and 
because uh, like I said in my last video you're gonna have problems with the um, the div uh, video uh, logo so you might gonna have to cover that or either uh, process your video by uh, by changing the format in this program MPEG string clip which I put in the description of my part one video to download this if you want to convert it and to get rid of that div x video logo and that's pretty much uh, how you how you do that and I'm gonna uh, do a part three and that's uh, to show you how the editing effects and stuff like that work.